I hope you all are having a good day. This video is going to be a totally casual one to switch it up a bit. You can treat it as a podcast, you can put it on in the background while you're doing whatever you want or glance at it every once in a while. I've been really in the mood to draw and paint lately, so I decided to make some mini original portraits for my monthly male patrons. Usually I send printed stuff, but this time, for the first time, I'm drawing and painting original art pieces. This might be a once in a while thing, I don't know, I just felt like making them, and so that's what you're going to see here. I'll explain some of the process, and also I figure this is a good video just to chat to. Um, again, could be like a podcast thing you keep on in the background. Um, but I'm going to just chat about what's going on in my mind about sea lemon, like the future of my business, just stuff that's swirling around. Um, you could tune me out, <laughs> whatever you want. You clicked on it, so here we go. I'm trimming this large sheet of watercolor paper into small canvases using a little template here. And I really like the deckled edge on watercolor paper, so I'm using a ruler just to make that on all of them. I'm going to sketch loosely some plants, and so I think the deckled edge is a nice, natural, organic touch to the portraits. So these will be going out to monthly male patrons from April, and they're no longer available, but you can sign up for the next month of mail in the link below. You don't have to, this is just for patrons who want to support my art and channel. Every month I print my art on different things. It's usually postcards and a sticker, and lately I've been uh, experimenting with notebooks, so most likely next month will be a notebook. I'm sketching with a combination of Koi watercolor pens and also Tombow pens. I'm hoping this watercolor paper isn't too rough for these because the nibs are like a felt and might get a little roughened up. Anyway, I'm sketching some desert life because I live in the desert, if you didn't know, Arizona, and right now in the spring things are blooming and it's right before it gets to 110 degrees and everything dies, so everything is really pretty right now and it makes me want to sketch it. So I've been doing monthly mail on my Patreon for maybe a couple of years now, and I really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. If you're new to my channel, I really like to make print patterns, and sometimes I design those and work them into videos, but this monthly mail outlet has given me a reason to design more, and it's a place for them to go because I don't know where to really put them because they just don't make great videos, me just designing print patterns. It's something I really enjoy and also it allows me to experiment with my art on different print mediums, which that also fulfills me in a, like a graphic designer way because that's what I used to do. Having this Patreon tier has basically been the closest thing I've ever had to running my own stationary line and putting my art on those different things, and it's really uh, creatively fulfilling to me. I really look forward to filling patron orders every month, which is weird to say, but I do, and sometimes I look forward to doing this more than coming up with some kind of project or tutorial to post on YouTube. And don't get me wrong, I love posting tutorials, but lately, if you've been following my channel, it's kind of the same project-based type content because that is what performs well on my channel. I have dabbled in vlogs and I have a separate vlog channel and I've had- I have tried like different types of content, but ultimately the project stuff is what gets watched, which then uh, gives me income to make a living off of. So I tend to stick to the same type of content, but on the flip side of that, it gets a little monotonous for me as a creative person, and this uh, filling orders and making uh, art to sell is a nice change of pace, and it's a little refreshing to return to every month. Which has been making me think, maybe I should try like reviving my Etsy shop. If you didn't know, Sea Lemon started as an Etsy shop way back in the day, and then I kind of just closed it to focus on YouTube. But things have changed so much in running a shop online now, 
and doing this Patreon monthly mail has really been making me consider uh, relaunching or reviving my Etsy shop. But then I have doubts and I think, would there be enough customers that would want to buy my art that often to make a sustainable income from it? Would it be worth the time I put toward it? And would putting less time toward my YouTube channel be worth it? Because it does take extra time to run a shop and I am only one person. I am a one woman business. So basically, I don't know if, if it would be sustainably a good decision for my income, but I do know it would be a good decision for my creative mental health because I really do enjoy it. Also, I don't know if you've seen like all the studio vlogs on YouTube and small business TikToks with like illustrators and creative people doing their print businesses. It's really inspiring, but also to me, it's very intimidating and <laughs> more power to them. And I have nothing but respect for their shops, but man, I don't know if that could be me. Personally, I'd rather stay small and not have a shop be 100% of my income. I just don't want to spend that much energy to stocking shelves of inventory and filling orders. Some of the time, sure, just not all of the time. But can I do both YouTube and run a shop? And I would only be able to do so much on both things. I don't want to quit YouTube, obviously. I still enjoy it. It's just something would have to give if I wanted to introduce a new thing. Right now, this YouTube channel is pretty much 100% of my work life. Everything I do is all for making these videos. I do post like two times a month, which is less than I used to, but it is mentally what I can handle right now. And if I did do a shop, it might go down to like one video a month. I don't know. And the content could change, which would disappoint some people. That is also another thing I'm afraid of. Here's Kona, by the way. This is what she looks like when I'm painting. Anyway, so welcome to my head. <laughs> welcome to what has been swirling around in my brain. Um, hope you're okay with me chatting here and venting about this. I wanted to share this on a video because I do like reading the comments and seeing what you guys think about things. If you run or have run a shop before, let me know any advice. If you also make YouTube videos and run a shop, I would love to read your advice if you have any in the comments. I asked my patrons if I should write the name of the plants on these portraits, and they did want the name on the front. So this is what I'm doing in my uh, very plain handwriting, but hopefully they like it. Right now, I'm kind of torn between keeping things the way they are, but feeling a little creatively stifled and not making that much extra income or trying this new thing uh, where I try my online shop, my revive my Etsy shop. I'm trying to figure out a balance of being creatively fulfilled, but also being sustainable for my income. I'm sure that's the balance that every self-employed person is trying to find, and it's hard to find. I wasn't planning on making many originals this month for patrons, but here we are, 24 portraits later. I can't believe I sketched that many originals. I can't remember if I've ever sketched that many. So thank you patrons for giving me more motivation to make art. I did scan a few, so I might use the artwork for something in the future. If you would like to see like a postcard set of these, let me know in the comments. Stickers maybe, maybe as a Patreon rewards or future Etsy shop. Again, I'm not sure. Um, if I do move forward with that idea, I'll definitely make a video and again, let's discuss in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!